who will it be this year? You look down the list of teams, you see big names like these two, but you know genuinely in this UEFA Youth League that anyone can win it. Well, the strains of the Juve anthem die away. And we can get underway, as you can see. It's one of these very modern playing surfaces at the training ground at Juve, a little stadium tucked away. Clumsy challenge there by Montero. That was Joel Vandenberg. There is Yandro Rapp. Born in the hook of Holland, but now a Venezuela youth international. PSV can't afford to do that too often. Ball given away far too cheaply. And Yucho with the cross, and that's cleared away by Rapp at the near post, but it's an early Juventus corner. There is their coach, the man who's taken over from Paolo Montero. He's gone up the next level to the next-gen team. Francesco Magnanelli, the man in charge now. Alessio Vaca stands to one side of the corner. And it's his outswinger, but that's over everybody's head. Naripani. And here's Vandenberg. Paul rolled forward by de Guzman for Elvik Jäger. Cross came uh, Montero, what a player his father was. Uruguayan. Teak tough centre half for Juve. There's Rapp. Now Vias. There'll certainly be a sense of, of feeling out in these early stages. Won that Primavera title four times, Juventus. There's Vincent Heilman continuing his good work at PSV. Just 27 years of age at that Dutch and German trend, such young coaches. Now fires. And looked promising for a moment. De Guzman to take the throw. Great facility, this Allianz training centre. There's Rivas Manuhutu. Now Vandenberg. Here's Vias, the right back. Rat under a little bit of pressure there, but he dealt with it just fine. It's 
Fooled by Aya Daly Thomas, and then that's a fairly clear tug on the shirt, but the Portuguese referee not responding, allowing play to continue. Is Kispel, a strong holding midfield player for Heilman. Now Boss the captain. Must say, it's a good positive start, this, from PSV Eindhoven. Not playing like the away team here. They're trying to put pressure on Juve right from the start. The 11th UEFA Youth League, this, and Italian team reaching the final for the very first time last season. Milan beaten in that dramatic final by Olympiakos. Here's Yandro Rapp. Little burst of acceleration by Bahati. Good running from him. But falling on it gratefully is the Romanian goalkeeper, Ricardo Radu. See Bahati. Making the point that he felt his shirt was being uh, tugged there. Florea, terrific little Romanian creative player for Juve. Good ball in and just drifted over the head of Alessio Vaca. Bruno Martinez. Now Panyuko. Here's the other Spanish centre half, left footed Javier Hill. Recruited from Alaves, Martinez from Espanol. Good turn there by Florea, who is having his shirt tugged by Floris Boss. There'll be a warning for him, just a, a note from the referee. And then a further warning for that little touch of nonsense. Florea and Manahutu. There's Bufanda. Followed by Montero and now Ripani. Clever turn by Puno, and Puno has made a run towards the far post here, and he's there, but can't quite slide in to turn it home. Good play from Vacker, just finding the little half yard. Whether he's aiming for the far corner or for his striking partner, well, only he knows, but it was just a whisker away here from Vacker.
like if Funio fully commits to that, almost guesses a little bit, he probably scores. Kispel. Now Manahutu. Certainly doesn't get any easier for either of these sides. Juve go to Leipzig next and PSV at home against Sporting. Tough openings in this UEFA Youth League. There's another tug of the shirt and this time it will be a yellow card. Bufandar booked inside 11 minutes can be problematic. Must say they'll look over at Floris Boss and wonder what the difference was, but that doesn't matter. He knows a tug of the shirt puts him in peril. In terms of learning lessons, of course, it's about winning the Youth League, but so important that these players do learn. Well, he's going to learn how to play a competitive game against a good side, booked early. Have to remain risk-free. Be sensible now, Adam Bufanda. Panyuko, and then... Uh, Given away cheaply this time by Juve. Both sides look almost a little bit nervous. They know the focus is on, I guess. There's Ripani. Now Bufanda. Morocco under 20 international, born in Piemonte. And Yuko did really well to get there, and ball had just drifted out of play, according to the officiating team. Well, there is the tug of the shirt on Uysweyers. Hill. Well, that's such a clever touch on. And I think the ball back to Vaca was probably the clever one for Bufandar. He went for goal himself. Hill. And Manahutu and all the way back to Koyston. Game of few chances so far. Just that far post lunge from Puno for Juve. He wasn't far away from reaching. Had he done so, he would have scored, I think. Here's Ayadele Thomas. And Manuhutu. Rap.
Happy to take their time, aren't they, here, PSV? Twice reached the round of 16, PSV, that's as well as they've done. Lost on penalties on both of those occasions in 15-16 and then the following season to Roma and then to Benfica. Jaden de Guzman. Good running there and it's palmed away dangerously. Radu didn't look certain. But Juve have a free kick. De Guzman who slipped the pass through. And the run from Vandenberg. And so close to falling to Jaeger. Good running this time from uh, Alessio Vaca, who's been really lively, the former Monza player, Monza youth player, picked up by Juve. And you can certainly see what they see in him, can't you? Really strong running, creative player. Double step over there and the run brought to a halt. So Ripani to one side and Vaca to the other. Stein Kuisten, the former under-15 international, only 17 now, waits. <laughs> Took a deflection on the way through, might have gone anywhere. But eventually, PSV are able to clear their lines. And able to get on with it as well. Alessandro Nischi, a player who just wouldn't uh, allow them to take the throw quickly. Panyuko. Here's Andre Florea. 19 year old Romanian gets himself into a good position there. Three appearances in the Primavera League so far this season. Three assists in those and a goal as well. Three wins out of four for Juve. Forward by Chris Bell. Oh, pulled across here, great angle. Only half cleared and fired just over. Via a deflection, I think. First Thomas, then Vandenberg. PSV so close to grabbing the lead. Corner then for Juve to defend. Good bright start from Joel Vandenberg. Oh, goalkeeper flapped awkwardly, but referee judging there was a foul in amongst all of that.
So still goalless. In Turin. TSV have created marginally more. A couple of efforts from impressive midfield player Joel Vandenberg. Panyuko, here's Florea, again in a little bit of space here, Florea to try and pick the pass, which he does so perfectly. Still a chance here for Juve with Vaca, and still, but spooned over by Florea. Great pressure from Juve. Did everything but score. Panyuko with the throw. Montero. Now Hill. Just rebounds behind for a Juve corner. Good running from Nishi. Strange, isn't it, to look at these new formats of both Youth League and Champions League. One group of 36 teams. Everyone still getting used to it. Drilled hard and low and solidly enough away. Juve have done that a couple of times now, just almost driven the ball into a danger area to see where the ricochet might land. <laughs> Martinez. Cunha arguing that he was being fouled, but he's going to get no change out of the referee for that. There's Kispel. Couldn't quite get there, Panyuko.
So 25 minutes played and chances at either end, but nothing enormously clear-cut, you would say. Must confess, I thought Ayadeli Thomas was going to give TSV the lead earlier on. This is that Juve effort. Goalkeeper looked very, very awkward. Great defensive block from Viers in amongst there. Koisten made the wrong decision, though, and used his thighs to get it clear. Tanyuko downfield. Now then, chance for Puno to run at them and fire just wide. That's better. The informed player from the Primavera League, Diego Puno, took it and turned and drove and just couldn't pick out the bottom corner. But that feels like their likeliest route to goal. The referee wants a word here rather than willingness to show another card, I think. Now Bosch. Juve defensively are going to deal with those more often than they don't. Just pump long down the middle. Martinez. Should be dealt with by Manuhutu, and he does get across. Thomas just turned into trouble there. Wide from Hill, this is better again from Juve. I think both sides have looked a touch tentative, on edge. No one's really relaxed into it yet. Vac has been the most threatening player, Vandenberg's been good for PSV. Martinez. Nice feet there from Panyuko. His Puno. Another good turn from Diego Puno. Held at the second attempt by Stein Kuisten. Hill. Now Vaca. Touched on by Florea. Lofted over the top by Panyuko. Goalkeeper came a long way and just managed to stay inside his area.
Manahutu. Bruno Martinez. Florea. Montero reversing that in behind for Panyuko. His cross is a good one. Strong challenge, referee has a look and gives a free kick the other way. For what happened afterwards. That is a risky tackle to make by Floris Bosch, the captain. On Ripani. There's the ball from Panyuko. Oh, he wins enough of it. Still not sure he needs to make that tackle. Needs to stay on his feet a bit more here. Bosch, referee needs a word as well. He's starting to fling himself around a bit there. Flourish Bosch. You watch the top quality centre halves. Yeah, you can win a tackle like that, but they more often than not try and stay on their feet. It's twice in a minute. He's left his. Montero. Good leap there by Vyas. Here's Ayadeli Thomas. Oh, lovely little twist and turn from him. And goal kick is the decision. Thomas can't believe that. Did the referee get it right? Yeah, I think he did. Unreasonably strong pressure there from Eus Vyas. Bufanda. There's Bosch for Vandenberg. Final 10 minutes of this first half. Chris Bell, now Manahutu. Thomas bowled over there, and it will be a yellow card. A second for a Juve player, for Filippo Panyuko, the captain.
That's over everyone's head from Peter Kispel. Florea battling hard and in the end uh, winning the free kick. It's an awful lot of attention from both Peter Kispel and Joel Vandenberg in that midfield. The referee's trying to let it go. Hunting as a pair in this very snazzy away kit that PSV are wearing. Ritani. Vaca to take the corner. In fact, he leaves it. Went over dramatically there, Nishi. Challenged by Daly Thomas. I'm not sure there was much in that. So Juve free kick. Dangle worked for Vaca. Easy claim for Koyston. I think the goalkeepers looked a bit nervous here and they haven't really put him under enough pressure. Thomas. Now Vandenberg sets himself and fairly comfortable block there in the end. There's Manohutu. Vyers. There's Bosch. Free kick for PSV. I think they felt he went over a little bit easy there. Ois fires. Yeah, go, get 
Rivas Manahutu across then to take the free kick. Drifted in Manahutu, great, solid punch. Really good goalkeeping there from Radu, the 17-year-old. Mentioned his opposite number a bit hesitant, there was nothing hesitant about that. Now Bahati. There's Bosch. Forward by Vyas. <laughs> Yandra Rapp, now Flourish Bosch. Clever ball from Viers. Jaeger's not really got into the game, does at least earn them a quarter. A couple of minutes to go in this first half. Still goalless in Turin. He stayed in his line there. Radu Martinez dealt with it in front of him. Foul at the far post anyway. Daly Thomas tries to jink his way through. A minute to be added at the end of this first half. Cagey opening to this UEFA Youth League from both of these sides, both of these sets of players. Preston comes a long way to deal with that. Flicked around the corner and Florea trying to jump on that. And that will do it. Well, there was much interest in that first half. Funio going close early on as he lunged in at the far post. PSV probably had the slightly better chances, though. The Vandenberg shot over the crossbar and then Thomas seeing his effort blocked before Vandenberg again with a useful opportunity. Half-time here, I think they're feeling their way, aren't they? Juventus nil, PSV nil.
Stick Champions Path sides as well. We've had increasing success as the competition has gone on. There are 32 of them as well, and the way it will work once the league is done in December, the clubs ranked 1-6 to six in the league will play 17 against 22 for a place in that round of 16. And the clubs ranked 7-16 to 16 in this league will face the domestic champions path teams, the ones who have emerged from there. So you still have a benefit coming from a, a Champions League team proper in terms of places available. 22 versus 10, isn't it? But uh, you still have a big chance from the domestic champions path. But each of these games is precious, and dare I say, each of these home games precious as well in terms of getting as high up that table. You're not just against your direct opponent, remember which adds some real context to both Champions League and Youth League. Vitani <laughs> with the free kick. It's a silly challenge, no need to make it. Floris Boss again the captain, he needs to learn to stop lunging in like that. Over committing really. Not entirely sure Puno was really going anywhere, but Bosch almost obliged by making that rather rash challenge. Now then, here's Bahati at the other end. The ball wasn't right, though. Jaeger had made that run ahead of him. Here's Koitgen. Now it's Vaka. Seen how threatening he's been. Uh, nothing threatening about that, though. Just bundled off it by Rivas Manahutu. Good player, though, Alessio Vaca. Nice little shift of direction there. Here's Luis Fires. Wrapped. Back with Fires. De Guzman, who's been quiet so far. Just hesitated there, Bahati, but still looked like he was caught to me. Looks a rather rash challenge that you may have a free kick, but I think PSV believe they ought to have. I think it was Martinez. No, he's won the ball. He slides across and he does win the ball, but I still think Studge showing caught the player as well. More often than not, that's... Uh, a free kick the other way. Certain challenges now that you could make 10 years ago, you can't really now. I think that was one of them.
Rolled back by Floris Bosch. Montero, now Hill. Nishchi. Still in pain there, Vaca. Florea. Just overran that in the end. And Baez just back heels it out of play. Here's Vaca. Ripani. Sets himself for the shot just right. Terrific effort there. The captain, Panyuko. Wonder how close that was. Kaisen looked beaten to me. Bahati trying to wriggle his way around the defender there. There's Bosch. Manuhutu. It's going to be another yellow card up. Third for a Juve player of the match. Thomas just clipped there. This won't tell us how close it was, but it felt close. Kyston might just have got across there. Hard to tell from any of those angles. Thomas still down. Some concern there over Ayadele Thomas. There's the yellow card for Ripani. Long inside the fullback. Pieces picked up by Puno, who's done really well to shift it. He had two options in the centre and didn't use either. Went for goal himself. Vaca was waiting along with Nishchi. Juve's best chance of the game. Puno backing himself. 
having been in such good form in the Primavera League and Puno not taking the chance. Let's see again, he does well to win it, it's a great touch there. But once again, Vyas with a great challenge, but Juve this time! Do find a way! Montero leads the celebrations. And Juve with the breakthrough. Ten minutes into the second half. Alfonso Montero pouncing. And finally the breakthrough. Big smile on his face, son of a famous father making a name for himself, corner went short. Initial effort was saved, Martinez won centre half, but then Montero. And look what it means to them. And there's the frustration of Heilman. And here too is an instant response. Juventus in front. Juventus trying to make the most of their home games. Change for PSV. Noah Fernandez on. Elvik Jaeger, for whom it just hasn't really worked out as a player off. Well, that was a good touch from Vyas. He's been outstanding at both ends of the field. Good bit of defending, though. Here's Vaca. Magnanelli delighted with that goal. Want his side to build on it. They have started the second half well. His Vias. Silly scything challenge there by Nishchi. Again, no need to do that. Got to make more of an effort to get out of the way of that, I think. Gomez van Hogen, now Vyers. Good chase forward again by Uis Vyers. Nicely worked as well, they got it wide that time. And it bounced off Fernandez. good work from Bahati. And Fernandez, the substitute, trying to make the difference.
Half and out of play. In Turin, Juve with this narrow advantage given them by Alfonso Montero. As Javier Hill. Vaca trying to turn and just snaked out his right boot in the end. There's Bahati. Good response this from PSV Eindhoven. Barking out instructions, Manianelli. In comes the corner, good hands on it again by Radu. Well, clumsy coming together, they thought there was a foul. Vaca leads the counter-attack and looks to hold on. And looks to win the free kick and does so cleverly. That was outstanding from Alessio Vaca. Manuhutu has stayed down. long and it drifted out of play his vias Manganelli continues to bark out the instructions Nodded forward there by Nishi and Vaca went for goal from some distance. Never looked overly likely, but he's had a good game, Alessio Vaca. Already one goal and two assists in that Primavera competition, that legendary Italian youth league that Juve have only won four times. Sassuolo won it last year, so they're in the domestic champions path along with the Five Italian clubs who come in the Champions League path. Juve, Milan, Inter, Atalanta and Bologna, of course. So six in all in this youth league. Netherlands, Feyenoord and PSV and then the domestic champions who are RZ, the winners of this competition two seasons ago. Who will always throw down a challenge. Dribbles away there, Jaden de Guzman. Just not quite able to find that quality that we know he has. Son of uh, Jonathan de Guzman, there's Noah Fernandez, who's come on round about 10 minutes ago, this 16-year-old Belgian. Belgian substitutes on either side in Koitgen and Fernandez, and that's given away. TSV might prosper here. Well, behind for a corner, good bit of defending. Nishi got across.
in front of Guzman. Free header at the far post. Touched away. Good quality here from PSV. His wrap. Manuhutu. That's beyond everyone. Quality on that ball in, but once again, outstanding defending from Vias. What a game he's having, the PS behind Hoban right back as we move into the final quarter here in Turin. Juve with a narrow advantage given them by Alfonso Montero. Ten minutes into this second half. Semi-finalists. 21-22, Juve lost to Benfica. Benfica were down to 10 in that match. Drew two all and lost on penalties. Wasn't the best punch that time for the goalkeeper. Can PSV profit with Vandenberg? Nearly, but pushed away by Radu. Did well to get down low and get two hands onto that. Oh, great quick feet. This is an outstanding period for PSV. Really starting to threaten. They've certainly got plenty of time as well. sense that this could still be on that was late Quality again there from the right back. Vaz. 
Vaca. Looking towards Nishchi, and the free kick goes the other way. Here the change is being barked out here. Benjamin Kadiri on here in the midfield for PSV. Who's moving Samuel Gomez around, certainly trying to get some instructions to him, Vincent Heilman. <laughs> Francesco Crapisto is going to replace Andre Florea, who I thought started the game well, but rather drifted out of it. His rap. <laughs> Measured ball in and header was a useful one from Vandenberg, but he needed some help. Wonder if Juve have just one eye on the clock now, a little bit anyway. They know how important a victory is. Before they travel to Leipzig next. Two German sides in Leipzig and Stuttgart, two English ones in Aston Villa and Manchester City. Dutch side here in PSV and Lille away as well. Two French teams for uh, PSV and Paris Saint-Germain and Brest. Four past champions, by the way, in this Champions League group. This pathway, Barcelona, Benfica, Real Madrid and Salzburg. Three runners-up in Milan, Paris Saint-Germain and Shakhtar. And in the 32, there are seven teams who've been in all 11 editions of this UEFA Youth League. None of those are Dutch or Italian. Noah Fernandez. Now Uisweyers. Ball fizzed across that front post. By the way, the seven teams who have been in all 11 editions, Atleti and Barca and Real from Spain, and then one each, Germany and Bayern, Benfica from Portugal, Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain.
It was a miscue, the attempted clearance. Fernandez, the substitute, has looked lively since he came on. And that's turned back towards his own goal by Puno. And that goes down as a good save in the end from Radu. If that was going in, it's an excellent save. Maybe Puno forgot where he was. by Noah Fernandez. Delivery, positive goalkeeping again, fired in, cleared away. It might have bounced off a PSV player and then the follow-up is over. I wonder if that shot hit his own player. Vandenberg so close as PSV continue to push for an equaliser. There's the punch, there's the follow-up it did. Well, what a moment that is. <laughs> Fernandez. <laughs> Vyers. <laughs> Kadiri. There's Rap. Kaderi. Now Vyas digs out the cross. Valdez Agana with four appearances so far this season in the Primavera League is on for Ripani in the centre of midfield.
Vacup. Ghana. sense of urgency from PSV Eindhoven and has been for a while searching for a way to get back into this and they've had chances too just not quite fall in their way 15 year old Fabian Merien on a little batch of changes for Yandro Rapp Vaca. Puppy control bit of play from him. Hill. Forward by Nishchi. Endless energy from Ois Fires, the right back. Forward by Kaderi. Now Bahati again. Final five minutes. Guess who's chasing? Oh, he's fires. Even he, though, can't come out on top of that one. Nishi bringing it away. Vandenberg. Well, that was a little late. Left plenty on that challenge. Three Juve players booked, and now the yellow card for Fabian Merien, the PSV youngster. They're all youngsters, but you know what I mean, the 15-year-old. Well, 
Juve now will try to control the clock. Over goes Vyers. Touched dramatically, but the referee finds in his favour. Noah Fernandez. Clean challenge. By Nishchi. Now Alessio Vaca with support. And slowed down intelligently by Agana. Here's Koitgen. Valdez Agana again. Goes for the curler himself, but it always flying just wide. Vyers. PSV still pushing dangerously here. Oh, just for a moment, I thought Vandenberg had got there. But it was cleared away. Here's Vyers. Then Trey. And Bahati just offside as the ball came back to him. And we tick now into the time to be added. Predictably, a double change just to keep that clock running down. Ivan Lopez and uh, Michele. Skienza, the two who are coming on. Buys him 30 seconds, doesn't it? 30 seconds of four added minutes. Possession will be the key. If Juve can keep it, they'll have the win. They'll know they need to play better than this, certainly. Schienza gives it away. The substitute straight away. Koitgen. Bruno, 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 Bruno,
Merrien. Two of the added four minutes remain. PSV looking to summon one final effort here. Vandenberg. Throws his head back in frustration there. Joel Vandenberg. One back by the excellent Viers, one player who does not deserve to be on the losing side here. Manuel Bahati. Final 20 seconds, pumped in, PSV looking to create one final chance, this might be it. Bahati drives it across, and it goes beyond everyone, but there was a foul at the near post. It wouldn't have counted, and that will probably do it for Juve. I think this is a tale of missed opportunities for PSV Eindhoven. On another day, they could well have got something from this game. But that will do it. It's Juve who start with a win. Alfonso Montero with the goal. And they begin with a win at home as it finishes here. Juventus 1, PSV 0.